another episode of HVAC system design uh, in the channel of the world of building design. Uh, my name is Babak. Uh, so uh, this is a continuation of uh, the Carrier Hub software training. Uh, if you remember in the previous tutorial, we talked about the internal load and how we have to assign um, assign the load to different uh, you know sources of heating in a space like lighting task lighting, overhead lighting, uh, and the people who are uh, you know, present in this space. So in this tutorial, we're gonna focus more on the scheduling uh, of different type of heating sources. This is very important because uh, depending on the schedule of different heating sources, um, you know, uh, the heat gain in this space uh, determines the uh, cooling and basically the load inside the space. And that might be different depending on different type of heating source. For example, if you imagine a library uh, or a lab um, laboratory, uh, there are many equipment inside the laboratory spaces that can um, generate heat, uh, or um, you know, people who are in that lab working, or uh, let's say the different type of lighting, especially uh, task lighting in, in those spaces. And uh, these are all determining factors. So it might be different at different time, time, time of the day. Um, and based on the usage uh, of any of this equipment in those spaces that you're defining inside the carrier hub, the cooling load might be different or the heating load, load might be different. So uh, we're going to go inside the CAD software uh, to review how we have to assign and determine the schedule. Uh, which is pretty much um, the same when you learn how to create a schedule. Um, you can assign those a schedule to different type of, as I said, heating sources uh, inside your spaces. Um, the way it works in the carrier hub is that um, you have to determine uh, the usage per hour uh, throughout the entire 24 hours uh, of each day. And then you assign those days to different, um, you know, days of, within a week, uh, you can you can have holidays, you can have um, um, weekends or weekdays. You can assign all of those different schedule profiles and assign them to uh, any days or any time uh, for for having a more accurate um, uh, heat uh, dissipation profile uh, within your space. So we're going to go back into the carrier hub software and we will review how we do this scheduling. If you haven't done this before, please uh, continue watching and uh, we will we'll show you how that works. Uh, and please also don't forget to subscribe and press on the notification button in this channel. Thank you. Okay. Right now I am in the carrier hub uh, working environment and I want to show you how we have to set up the schedule. Something we have to remember is that when we set up our schedule uh, or the like a design environment from the beginning, you have a command called preference. So I'm going to go on the preference uh, folder. And as you can see from here, you have two um, operation or modes of design. You have uh, either your system uh, in the uh, energy analyzing feature activated or during the energy analysis design, or you have a during the system design mode. So if I activate this uh, check mark, or if I press this check mark and I start working on my spaces, uh, it means that we can have all of the, uh, you know, operational time of our systems, whether it's electrical system or all equipments or people, but the way it's uh, the way it's designed and then set up is that during the energy analysis feature activated, all of the time frames are uh, are considered for uh, for usage of energy. But if we want to stay in the system design mode, basically we don't we don't uh, need to um, consider for uh, different time of the day or uh, or the weeks or the year uh, for our um, you know electricity usage or uh, electricity consumption of our equipment or 
um, specifically the electrical fixtures or things like that. So right now, I'm not going to activate this, and I want to show you how the schedule will look like. So without the energy, uh, energy analysis uh, activated, I'm going to press OK. And then when I go to one of my spaces, so this is a default space that we created at the beginning. So in the subject of the internal load, when I come to internal load, I want to create a schedule for overhead lighting. Imagine that you know the total uh, wattage of your overhead lighting you have already put in here. You can go either by square footage or if you, if you know the exact wattage, I just change it to the wattage and we put that in there. But um, for now, because we're looking at the schedule, I'm going to press on the schedule. And now I have to create a, a fractional schedule for my overhead lighting. The way it's done is that you have to go to hourly profile. In the hourly profile, um, there are up to eight choices of um, you know, um, usage or operational schedule options uh, you have uh, that you can you can set up and each of this profile uh, is good for 24 hours so if i double click or left click on the profile number one you see that this two zero in here this is basically showing the time it's at 12 uh, a.m and then you go all the way to 23 so this is the number of the hours per day. So imagine that your overhead lighting is supposed to work between 9 a.m. to uh, say 8 p.m. It means that you have to have all of this turned off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the left click and pull this down for all of the hours where my overhead lighting are not supposed to operate. So I'm going to put all of this down. So up to 9 a.m., I just don't want any overhead lighting consumption is shown. So from 9 a.m., I am going to have my overhead lighting 100% running, okay? And then on the, in here, which is uh, hour 21 or 9 p.m. in the evening, I don't want to have this on, so I'm going to, take this all the way down. So this is going to be basically one of my overhead lighting profile um, for the during the day operation. Okay, so I'm going to have this here as it is. And let's go back to a schedule type. I'm going to just change this name to um, um, overhead dash working hours. I'm going to press on OK. Let's go back because we haven't assigned it yet. It didn't recognize. So I'm going to, so when we are in the, in the hourly profile, um, I want to also determine the weekends and holidays. So I'm going to work on the profile number two for weekends and holidays, which I'm assuming that the overhead lighting are fully off. So, if I double click on the number two, basically I can have all of this to zero, showing that there is no usage during the weekends or during the holidays. I'm going to put this all down. So this is uh, all manual work I'm doing. Basically, I'm going to stay with only two uh, operational uh, profile. I'm not going to change it to more than two, um, you know, overhead lighting consumption profile. Two should be sufficient for here. I'm going to turn all of this to zero. Okay. And that's going to be my profile number two. And the other step that I have to do is when I go to assignment, you see that in the assignment, the only thing that I have is um, design 
basically the profile number one is applied to all of this. That's the way you apply. You highlight all of them with the left click on and just press on the profile. If I want to apply profile number two, which is like basically no usage, um, I can come here and write two in here, highlight everything, highlight everything, press on number two or whatever number is here. If you just need to highlight and press on the profile that you need to change to, okay? So why we don't see the other uh, usage for the days? Because we are in a design system design mode. In the system design mode, um, the carrier app assumes that uh, during the design, we are consuming 100% of our all usages at maximum um, you know, at maximum internal load. It means that if you have a task lighting, they should be on. So let me go back to press OK. If I'm here, and if I assign the overhead lighting uh, wattage, and if I have task lighting, people, everything, we complete for that space, the carrier app during the system design mode determines that all of this loads are available and it designs our cooling or it designs our air conditioning based on the full maximum peak internal load but if we are in the energy analysis mode which i showed you in here let me just click this in the program preference if i go into activate my energy analysis feature this is basically when we want to analyze a building for its system and understand what is the energy usage during different time of the days or hour or per weekly or per yearly non-stick. So if we have this activated, I'm just going to go OK. And then if I go to space, again, I go to my space. If I go to my internal load, if I pick whatever I just created as my schedule, for overhead lighting, I go to overhead working hours that I just picked, and I go back to my schedule. If I go to hourly profile, and actually I go to assignment, now you see all of these uh, cells are showing up because now I'm doing the analysis within the energy analysis mode. It means that all of the consumption in all of the time of the weeks and uh, months and the year is is calculated for for understanding the heating and cooling um you know from all of this internal load so in this case if i want to apply um my consumption profile or uh operational schedule profile i'm just going to apply my profile number one which is the working hours to everything except Saturday, Sunday, and holidays. So I'm going to press in all of these columns up to Friday, as you can see. I don't include Saturday and Sunday and holiday because I don't want them to be part of my working profile, number one. While everything is highlighted, just left click on this. Everything turns into number one. And the profile number one is applied to all of this, uh, you know, days. Uh, of the week and all of the months is January all the way to December. And for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday holidays, I'm going to highlight all of this now and apply the profile number two, which is basically we don't use any overhead lighting. Is everything is off. So I'm going to press on the profile number two. And that's become my profile for the overhead lighting when I'm in the analysis mode. So I'm going to go OK. OK. So that's basically what is applied to this. Okay, because we have to have uh, other criteria. Um, it doesn't allow me to go out because we need to create all of the schedule. So basically I can do the same thing. I'm gonna use my overhead working hours as a schedule for our people, meaning that our, our people coming down into the space between nine to uh, 8 p.m. So 
you can create other other flexible schedule depending on the you know people who are using this space. Uh, I'm not going to go through every of this schedule anymore. I'm just going to uh, select this overhead working that we just created for that purpose. In terms of miscellaneous load, I'm going to select the same thing, and for for the task lighting, I'm going to select the same thing. Other electrical equipment, I'm going to select the same thing. Basically, you can create the similar method of a schedule for every of this different type of uh, you know internal load, whether it's task lighting or it's electrical equipment or people. You can customize them individually, and when you make it, you can pick it up from the drop-down menu. Okay, so that's the way I'm going to do, and I'm pressing on OK. So basically, I have determined. Uh, you know, the schedule based on the mode of operation on the software side. So that's very important to know that which operation you're working on. If you are in the energy analysis, you can assign different schedule to all of the days of the weeks. Uh, but if you're in the system design mode, the software automatically, um, you know, assumes that you are having all of your load um, you know, in place. So it designed the cooling or it designs the load based on your uh, maximum peak load. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this uh, video. So we looked at the carrier HAP software scheduling in the internal load tab uh, in the space properties. And we learned that there are two modes of operation for the carrier HAP is either um, you have to do the design in the system design mode or in the energy analysis mode. And depending on which mode you're working on your um, you know, load calculation, uh, the schedule is uh, determined. Uh, for the system design, you would have only the design condition applies to your schedule. But if you do the energy analysis, you can determine exactly what are the different type of scheduling that can apply to your overhead lighting, to your task lighting, to the people who are, uh, you know, in the space. And based on that, you can, uh, you can understand the realistic load of the, of the space, depending on the schedule of your internal load. Uh, so if you have any specific question or if you have any specific comments, I would like you to write down below in the, in the comment section. Uh, and uh, for the next tutorial, we are going to focus on other aspects of the carrier app. And uh, I would like to thank you for, you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and press on the notification button uh, to see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted. Thank you.